Manisha is joining us to tell us about that. Manisha, we have been reading about sugar prices uh, rising, but what is this really on account of? Well, yes. Uh, you know, first of all, to give you a sense on the prices itself, and we saw nearly 3% of gains in sugar prices in the previous week, and now that makes up for 4% of gains in the month of June itself. Well, the global markets have been rising because you have seen fund buying coming in. It also has been about the El Nino now meeting its criteria, and El Nino basically means floods in Brazil and lesser rainfall in India, and both of these are major producing countries. Within India as well, we have seen slower progress of monsoon, and that has been a concern. We haven't seen the monsoon soon yet enter Maharashtra and it hasn't entered UP as well. These are the two major producer uh, states as well and that has led to a sentiment gain into the markets. In the North Indian part of uh, the country as well, the buying in sugar has been higher because we did see sugar prices slip in the previous week and from, from there, there has been opportunity physical buying is what the markets have been reporting. In the global markets, we did see 11-year highs in case of sugar prices in the end of May and the prices are keeping above 26 cents a pound even now as we speak. For the Indian markets, the last year's crop was at around 35.42 million tons. This season has seen a lower crop around 32.8 million tons with almost no exports now for the foregoing season. And the next season, while it still is far away, but with the kind of sowing concerns, yield concerns, and remember, sugar is a water-intensive crop, and that all is leading to some sentiment buying into the prices.